for United States. Number one, Samantha Carlino. Number two, Sierra Espilan. Number three, Mary Beth Barham. Number four, Allison Fuller. Number five, Ali Campbell. Number six, Katie Gersbeck. Number seven, Jessica McCarthy. Number eight, Anna Rose McDonald. Number nine, Madison Orbono. Number 10, Sammy Popper. Number 11, Hannah Prince. Number 12, Peyton Worth. And your umpires, Melina Ianes of Argentina and Rachel Williams of England. Please stand for the National Anthem of Uruguay. the anthem of United States of America. Starting team for Uruguay, Rosanna Purcell, Patricia Campos, Camila De Maria, Constanza Barandegui, Carolina Matilva, and Agustina Nieto. Starting team for United States, Samantha Carlino, Ali Campbell, Katie Gersbeck, Anna Rose McDonald, Sammy Popper, and Hannah Prince. Good luck to the two teams.
There's one more match on the program, which will be a, a men's match between Argentina and Mexico. And then that will finish off the day's proceedings. All right, so the starting uh, side for the USA is on the field and ready. Uruguay now uh, sets himself, set, will set themselves up for the beginning of play. And the USA will start off the match. And we're off. USA in possession. I think at this point in the game, it's just ready to feel out the first few minutes. Try to see what the other team with system they're going to come with. Right, so we see USA still in possession. All right, so USA seem pretty content uh, trying to pass the ball down the right-hand side. So for the first time in this match, uh, the Uruguay girls will have possession. Para los que están viendo desde Facebook, estamos viendo el juego de los Estados Unidos contra Uruguay. Acaba de empezar, ahora son 19 minutos que quedan en el primer partido. Uh, es la, la primera mitad del juego. All right, so USA now uh, with the ball. They're quite content to get their, their few passes in before they and have the first goal. shot. And the first goal of the match comes off of the stick of player from the USA. And uh, after that first uh, goal, we'll have this uh, play restarted. Uruguay with the ball. USA pressing high. But Uruguay able to evade them so far. USA playing quite a high press. Yes, yeah, so they're forcing the uh, Uruguay players to play high as well. Uh, and they're trying to see if they can force some errors, huh? Correct. The whole idea of a press, of course, is to put pressure. So USA applying pressure early on. Uruguay on the ball now. Using the whole width of the, of the floor. Right. And USA is on the attack. And we have a short corner in favor of USA. All right, so for these short corners, it's quite important uh, these, that you get it right because it's a very good opportunity to score goals. Right? Oh, yes. Very so nice. some of the better teams would be better at short corners. Correct. It's quite a systematic thing. Something you have to practice over and over again. There are many different options. So once, as they say, practice makes perfect. All right. So let's see if they're able to execute. And of course, uh, during the short corner, it's quite dangerous to play. Uh, so some of the girls would usually go grab some masks and you can see some of the Uruguay players now uh, grabbing some protective gear. That's right. Uh, just in case uh, the ball goes a bit high and it could cause some damage to, to the players. So as we wait on the girls to set up um, the defense, uh, we are looking at the, how they are setting up the play here. There are three players right, on the, so on the three D. Three at the top and they'll be injected to the first player and and they try the deflection interesting combination there the person yes. the player that uh, inje injected the ball went in immediately into the play correct all right so USA is doing some interesting plays now uh, ball went up so it's still USA ball good bit of individual work there by USA Using the back nicely. Now they move back and in, move into a, a three back system. Being patient, USA is being very patient. Just passing the ball around nicely. Looking for those open opportunities. And there we go. She tried one up the line, but they're still in possession. Here we have the number 10, Popper, uh, getting stopped in the corner, passes the ball back, the reset play. 
and Uruguay seems to be playing a little a little far back in their defense uh, kind of allowing the USA team to get some some passes in uh, without applying too much pressure uh, do you think that is uh, something that they're, they're doing willfully or are they being pressed uh, to play defense a bit a bit more well I think they're just trying to be patient and also they when you when you apply pressure you spread the field more yeah so maybe they're trying to congest the middle and play more of a half court Defense. type of game yes okay you see they're going trying to apply some pressure usa getting out of it easily and now they advance nice combination play there to set up that play uh number 10 from the usa uh, side popper uh, she is having some good, good stick work. Yes. Uh, getting into the D and um, almost causing some trouble for the goalkeeper there. The USA team seem they seem a bit better at making combination plays, passing, passing from player to player, advancing the ball uh, systematically. Yes. Uh, USA they, right now is quite in control of the game. Yes. They, they have, have more possession. Most of the possession, correct? Yes. Well, uh, Uruguay seems to be having trouble getting onto the USA side of the field. I have a bit of a tussle here at the top of the circle. Uruguay in possession. Nice stick work there to use the band to get out of trouble. As they say, the boards are your friend. Use them like an extra player. All right, so USA now uh, back in possession. Tried a long ball, uh, but uh, Popper was not in position to receive that one off of the board. Uruguay now attempting to get into the USA side of the court. Going up the left hand, the left hand flank. And so they will get a long corner. So uh, Uruguay now Shot now, a sweeping shot on the left side there from uh, the number nine player from Argentina, uh, from your Milagros way. Algorta. Uh, Milagros kind of scooped that one up. Uh, and yeah, it was a good attempt, but went a bit too high. That one seemed to have come off the foot of uh, the USA player. Right, so you're going possession once again. Still trying to find those spaces. Nice pass off the board. But she's triple teamed by the USA. All right, a good opportunity here for the US girls uh, as they're just playing along the, the circle. All right, so player there from the USA, uh, unable to make um, full use of the possession there, and the ball sneaks off of the sideline. Oh, a bit of a, a bit of a tangle up there, but we're back in play. USA passing along very confidently. They're up one, of course. Oh. But a bobble pass there. You were going with some nice skills there to get out a bit of a trouble. Now they work it around the back once again. All right, uh, Uruguay seems a bit uh, hesitant uh, when they receive when they receive the ball at first. Um, they're not as fluent as the U.S. girls. Yes. Uh, when they receive the ball and you know with that intent to move forward, right. they seem a bit uh, more on their heels uh, rather than trying to press forward as a, as we're seeing the U.S. Uh, players impressive. able to do.
All right, ball came off the foot of the U.S. player, so quickly the Uruguay team starts. And now there's a counter by the U.S. team. All right. Lovely stick work to get into the circle, but strong defense by Uruguay. The U.S. are doing very well to double team. So when, when Uruguay collects the ball, two U.S. players quickly are on them. So it's really giving Uruguay a hard time. So they're, they're doubling on the, um, on the defense. Correct. Heavy pressure by the U.S. Uruguay doing well to get out of trouble. All right, the U.S. girls getting some support from the U.S. male team uh, sitting in the bleachers. USA working the ball around in the back. Being patient, looking for the open opportunities. Nice possession, and a switch from left to right very quickly. Driving down the band. Hoping for the short corner. So the umpire stopped the play. She seems I think there's to, some query in it, about it looks like an she infringement wants, that happened yeah. before. She wants to do a warning to, to one of the players. Uh, is she going to take out a card? Oh, so there seems to have been some sort of contact with the two, and they both received green cards. So All both right. teams now, after the timeout, will be down to four field players each. And we All right, so in the match, uh, we're in the first half, and there's a timeout. Uh, we have 9 minutes and 16 seconds remaining on the clock for this first half. Uh, how do you feel the game, the game is going so far? I think it's going good. Um, as we can see, USA is clearly the more dominant side at this point. But I'll tell you what, a game of hockey can change in no time. So I think in the next 9 minutes, we'll see if Uruguay can get composed and maybe get through the strong U.S. defense and let's see if they can equalize. Yes, uh, goals do score, do come very quickly, uh, especially, and the, the game is a free-flowing game is, and sometimes it can be very streaky. So yes. as soon as you get one goal, uh, the, the adrenaline is there, uh, oh, the yes. team starts to click and then a few goals can just uh, quickly follow suit. So USA with just one goal to zero as we restart playing, and as we know, that can change very quickly. Very quickly. So Uruguay on the, the counter. Trying to penetrate the circle. Oh, a lovely save by USA. And USA now on the counter attack. Three on two. But a nice pass across the goal, but no one there to slide in and get it into, into the goal. All right. Just now we had uh, the goalkeeper from the USA, Carlino, who got involved. That was the first time she got involved in uh, play during this game so far. Uh, and a fumble there from the US player. So Uruguay will get the long, cor long corner. Uruguay trying to go through, and but there again is another example of what you were saying. Two U.S. players countering uh, and, and smothering the Uruguay player, causing her to make a mistake and, and dispossessing her in the process. Uh, yeah. So USA is actively doing a double team yeah. uh, whenever they get the, the chance to. And there again. Good try by Uruguay, but going high of the top bar.
Uruguay attacking on the right side. But we have a player down. One of the Uruguay players uh, running up the right, um, the right wing. Uh, she, it didn't seem to be uh, a collision, but she did seem to lose her footing and land a little awkwardly. Yes, she's quite close to the bands, so hopefully she, she didn't fall too hard there. But she's still down. I'm getting attention right now. The team physio is there asking some questions. Uh, in the meantime, the U.S. team takes the opportunity to grab a drink and to talk it over. So seven and a half minutes remaining in the first half. And we have one goal so far in this match. Uh, USA was able to score one. So the, the score is uh, one to the USA and zero to Uruguay. Okay. So she's being helped off. Let's hope that she can be attended to and be able to return to the field later. So Uruguay uh, take a, a substitution, although the, the other player hasn't come on as yet. It seems uh, as though number 20 will be on now for Uruguay. And that's the captain. Her name is Augustina Nieto. So the umpires just making sure that the Uruguay player is okay before they restart play. She seems to be doing some neck stretches, so she probably fell awkward against the band. Uh, now we were speaking earlier that uh, that could be your 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 best friend that um, <laughs> during the game <laughs> that bar. But uh, just we just saw that uh, falling next to it could be uh, it could be quite dangerous as well. Quite dangerous as well. All, All right. part of the game, I guess. Every game she comes seems to be limping as she she comes back uh, to the team bench. Uh, it looks like maybe she didn't fall on that leg. Uh, Definitely will get it looked at as we have um, technical staff and uh, physiotherapists on site. And uh, we hope that she will recover and maybe we'll see her before the end of the match. Maybe. If not, hopefully she's, she's better to play in the next game. All right. Instead of joining the bench, uh, she seems to be going over to get uh, that looked at. Uh, now the teams uh, appear to be ready. Uh, it seems as though we are awaiting a uh, query by the Uruguay coach. And we, are, we start again. So seven and a half minutes remaining in the first half as USA enjoys a 1-0 lead. Estamos a siete minutos que quedan en este, esta primera mitad. Uh, los Estados Unidos tiene un gol y Uruguay cero. USA now uh, with possession of the ball. Uruguay doing well to get out of trouble there in their defense, and now they're attacking down the right side. Being patient. Uruguay ball once again. Uruguay trying to drill it through the U.S. player, but not being successful. And now USA drives down the man, down the right side. Good try, but goes into the side of the net. Tries to scoop it over the goalie in that, in that attempt. Uh, now, Uruguay, uh, they seem to be trying to take it a bit slower. 
building the plane. I'm wondering if uh, the conditions here in Guyana would would be different to what you're accustomed to in your country. Uruguay, uh, during July, August, it gets very cold. Mm -hmm. And so I'm wondering if uh, some of the effects that they're, they're seeing here uh, is something that they're not accustomed to. All right, well, as you know, Guyana is very humid, and yes. very hot. So they actually came, they were actually here a few days before the tournament. So I think they, were, they did that so that they, they, that they can acclimatize. All right. And being the, the athletes that they are, I'm sure they've played in many different conditions. So the heat may be a factor, but I don't think it would affect them too much. I don't know if I could say the same for when we go to the cold countries. To play, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, here at the Cliff Anderson School Sports Hall, it does get a bit warm during the day, but uh, it's now uh, 6.30, and uh, here in Guyana, the, it's, it's a bit cool. It's a nice, cool evening, and uh, I don't think that would be as much of an issue here in this match as a few of the matches that we had earlier. Earlier, correct. Uh, around 4 o'clock this afternoon, we did have a, a match, and um, we could see some of the goalkeepers taking off the helmets <laughs> and trying to air out a bit <laughs> in between uh, plays. Yeah. So it does get quite, quite hot, and uh, especially for those goalkeepers uh, who are wear they're wearing that much All protective that gear. Yes, as a player, you feel hot, and I cannot imagine what those goalkeepers go through. We have some action in the circle. USA trying to, to work their way into the circle again. But Uruguay on the attack now. A lovely pass. Bit of a fumble there by the US uh, defender, uh, number five. Uh, that's Ali Campbell. And uh, Uruguay pick it up. And they're back on the attack. Nice long ball to the other side. Sweeping pass across the goal, but no one there to pick it up. It's actually Uruguay ball, so they have a long corner. So they we're now down to three minutes and 15 seconds left in the first half. Let's see what the Uruguayans can come up with. A bit of a foiled pass there. She's trying to get it up the line. Uh, the ball goes out of bounds and it's now USA ball. So a USA player just receiving a green card. That'll be number 12, Peyton Worth. So USA will be down to four players now. Uh, so this is a, a very good advantage for the Uruguay team. Yes, uh, it is. And they're now, they're down zero to one, so they will try to capitalize on this minute that they will be in advantage. They will have the advantage of having one player over the USA. USA now playing with four field players. USA in possession currently. Let's see if they can hold on to possession until Peyton is back on. This is pretty good play by the USA right now, trying to yes. hold off possession. They just try to hold the ball and kill time. So they lose possession finally. And uh, Uruguay will obviously try to see if they can get one in. They had a good try there, but now USA is on the attack. Driving on the band, number three, but goes straight into the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper did a good job there of uh, cutting off the angle and stopping the cross from getting to the following players from the USA. Now the uh, time is up, so one minute is up, and the USA team is back to full strength. Nice piece of work there by Uruguay. Good try again, but into the pads of the keeper. So Uruguay will now have a long corner. It's one minute and 15 seconds remaining in this match. I'm sorry, in re remaining in this for the first half. 
USA up one goal to zero. Uruguay being very patient. Looking for those, a lovely pass. She's in the circle, oh, and a nice reverse try, but high and it goes into the net at the back of the goal. <laughs> That's uh, Maria Teresa Viana that did that reverse uh, shot just now. Went really high. It did. Now they're getting the goalkeeper involved uh, in play as they try to finish up this first half. Seconds All right, to go. So 25 seconds remaining in the match, in the first half of this match. So at this point, with the urgency of the seconds left, the teams will try to get maybe a short corner. All right, so to you finish can the half on a good note. Six seconds to go, Uruguay sends the ball up. Can she get anything out of this? And that brings us to the end of the first half. So I think an exciting half so far. Yes, uh, the, it is a quite a fast match. Yes. Um, usually the men's matches are a, little, a bit faster paced than the females' matches. This one was pretty fast paced. Yes. Uh, a pretty good match, uh, even though the score doesn't reflect that. Right. It's only uh, one goal one to goal USA. Correct. And um, Uruguay obviously will be trying to see if they can um, change come that. Back and uh, maybe bring bring the game back to them yes. so we're probably gonna have a, a few minutes break yeah and then and we'll get back for the action in the second half right so we hope to see you then
and we are back for the second half of Uruguay versus United States. So of course they'll be going the other end of the floor now. So Uruguay in possession. Uruguay seems to have come out with quite some intent. Starting the half off quite quickly. Ahora vamos a empezar la segunda mitad y Uruguay está con cero goles y los Estados Unidos tienen un gol. Entonces son 19 minutos que quieran en este partido y vamos a ver si Uruguay puede sacar algo aquí. Uh, this is going to be a short corner. Correct. So Uruguay being very smart there to get the short corner. So they have their battery set up. With a stick stopper. Okay. So maybe Here. number 17 will be able to get this shot off. She's standing quite far back. And it's in. The battery worked. And it's a goal by num number six. Number six. Of the USA team. Oh no, it's number six of a, <laughs> Uruguay a Uruguay team. team. So Uruguay <laughs> able to Di Maria. <laughs> bring one back. Of course, uh, we've switched sides now. So Uruguay will be attacking to the northern side. Right. Uh, while the USA will be attacking uh, to the southern side of the Cliff Anderson Sports Hall. So within the first two minutes, Uruguay pull one back. Uh, number six scored that one. So it's Camila Di Maria. Maria. Uh, number six of Uruguay able to get that one. A very nice combination there on the yes. uh, short corner. Uh, no, what would happen in that sort of play there? The goalkeeper would would charge at the number 17 player. Right. So when you set up a battery, the goalkeeper of course looks to the top because most of the times that would be the option because to go to the top, the flicker at the top of the circle. But there's so many variations that the keeper really has to be skillful enough to to be able to change direction and to read the play as well. Mm -hmm. So that one, the pass off to the left, definitely worked for Uruguay and now the score is 1-0. All. all right, so we now have a game on our hands. Uh, number 17 for uh, Argentina is Multiva. Uruguay. Multiva. And they've managed to get another short corner. All right. So, so as I said, Uruguay has come out with quite some intent. And uh, it is a streaky game, so they will have a bit of uh, momentum going now into this short corner. Yes, especially after scoring so early in the second half. It changes the whole tempo of the, of the game and the team. All right, so do you think they will do the same thing again or they will try <laughs> a different uh, tactic? Well, let's see. All right, so number 17 is the same sort of setup. I think she'll take the flick. And she does, she tries. All right, she dribbles, tries to go between the legs of the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper got enough on it to deflect the ball off the left-hand side of the goal. So the score remains, one all. Ahora el equipo de Uruguay uh, pudo sacar un gol y tiene ahora el partido está a uno a uno. USA now with the possession. I think USA is slowing it down a bit, trying to get composed. Because Uruguay, of course, off the lightning start of the second half. So USA doing well, just keep that possession. Not try to force it. I'm looking for the spaces. Nice slicing reflection there, and USA on the ball. Driving it into the circle and lovely defense there by Uruguay. That was the same player, uh, Muldiva, that did the um, good pass on the short corner to get the goal for Uruguay. Right, so she's having a good half. USA trying to work their way through in the circle there, but the ball seems to have gone off. So, And it was to control the ball on the, on the line there, and she loses it 
So now Uruguay, uh, as you mentioned, they're a bit streaky at the moment, feeling good about themselves. They're going to start uh, the playoff here. 15 minutes, just over 15 minutes to go. And we're all tied up here. Uruguay versus the USA. USA again doubling very nicely there, but still Uruguay ball. And here comes USA, driving down the right side, all the way down the band, driving down the baseline. But Uruguay, strong defense there. So the USA team now will have a long corner. Nice deceptive pass. And it seems as if it, it, it was blown as a short corner. Yes, a short corner for USA. So their first corner for the second half. And the USA now will have, will really want to take advantage of this, of this uh, situation here. Definitely. Uh, as we look at the Uruguay, Uruguayan girls uh, put on their protective gear. The USA will be setting up for their first short corner. The flicker took it. Yes, Uruguay running out quite fast. But another short corner for the USA. So you're going to set it back up. Campbell seems to be the, the flicker once again in this one. Uh, do you think she will <laughs> attempt to do another shot from straight on? Let's see if I'm two for two. I think she'll pass it off to the left. All right. <laughs> two for two. And she scoops it up into the top left-hand corner of the goal. Goalkeeper uh, unable to get his stick to, her stick to it. That was a lovely, a lovely flick by Campbell. So once again, USA is ahead, 2-1. Excellent nice piece stick of work, work there using the using the board. Uh, that's the player from the Uruguay, number 18, Viana Ashi. So Viana doing a good job to get away from three USA defenders there, and the attempt went just to the side of the goal. Uh, Uruguay playing with a lot more intent in the second half. Definitely uh, is controlling the ball a bit more, have a little bit more possession in this half. Lovely long ball, just missed by number 18. Viana, Viana the same player, unable to control the pass. Uh, she tried to receive it on the backhand. Lo Popper loses the pass there and Uruguay will regain possession. Just over 12 minutes remaining in this game. USA now back up with a lead of one and the score is 2-1. Oh, a bit of a bobble there by Uruguay and USA on the attack. And it's goal for USA. The USA taking advantage now. Popper, who on the previous play was unable to control the ball. She receives nicely and scoops it into the goal. So now the USA is up 3-1. Uh, just a correction there, uh, the, the goal scorer just now was Barham. Uh, Popper is on the bench for the USA. And a timeout has been called. So quite an ex exciting second half so far. Yes, yes. Uh, in the first half, you only had one goal. Uh, from the USA, it was a tight match. Everyone, uh, all of the, both teams were going at each other. And uh, you can see like a, a different tempo. Definitely. Uh, here in the second uh, half, they've upped the gear. I, I I was commenting that they were playing pretty fast in the first half, and they've even they're, go, they're going even faster, faster <laughs> in this second half. So with 11 minutes and 44 seconds left, we have the USA up by two. Leading 
But plenty of time still on the clock. Again, these teams will be very keen to do their best. Of course, the winners of this tournament qualify for the, the, Pan the Indoor World Cup in Germany next year. So it's, it's a very prestigious honor to make that. So, of course, the teams will be fighting hard. All right, we had a shot there from uh, the same player that just scored, uh, number three, Barham. Yeah. Uh, she shot it underneath a diving uh, Parcel, who was trying to stop that, that ball from crossing. She did get the cross to go across the face of the goal, but no one was there to put it in. So Uruguay now uh, with the ball. There's a two-on-one situation on the pick up. She's cornered, but gets out. And still Uruguay ball. Mutilva now to take the pass, and the game is restarted. Driving down the band, but the USA keeper is right where she needs to be. De Maria passing to Moldiva. Very good pass into the circle. Uh, the goalkeeper able to clear that, and USA is on a counter attack. Moving the ball around nicely into the foot of the Uruguay player, and they still have the advantage. So the captain of the USA team, Hannah Prince, playing nicely at the back there for the defense. I don't think we're gonna have a card. Seems so. So this goes against one of the USA players. And so the Uruguay team will now have an advantage. Umpire is trying to settle things down. The girl is trying to play. When you have an advantage like this, it's instinct to, to play, make fast plays and take advantage of the opportunity. All right, so Uruguay now uh, in possession, up one player. Driving all the way down. And there's a long corner. No, the possession is now given to the USA. So the clock is ticking away. Uh, just about eight and a half minutes remaining in this match. USA now with a sort of commanding lead of three to one. They're not breathing easily, but they're in the lead. <laughs> so Uruguay on the ball. Trying to find those spaces. A nice pass off the band. Ooh. And another reverse try. Just, just going wide of the right post. USA seem content to just uh, play the ball back and let the clock tick away. Definitely. Whereas Uruguay will be playing with a bit more urgency as they're behind. As they gain possession and try to work their way into the circle. And they set up once again. Lovely pass. Free player from Uruguay. Oh, she was wide open. So that was a momentary lapse in the U.S. defense, uh, allowing the player to be wide open to receive the ball. Uh, lucky enough, uh, the Uruguay team was unable to capitalize on that uh, defensive blunder. 
lucky enough for the USA, that is. <laughs> And Uruguay with a nice interception there. Again, open on the wing and unable again to capitalize on it. So uh, the Uruguay team having a few uh, chances here, but not able to finish. And Uruguay moving in with a small bubble, but the captain able to get out and now USA is on the attack. With a lovely try there. But the Uruguay keeper was able to block it. And USA back on the attack. A three versus three as the players now step back in. The and goalkeeper the out of the, off of the line, defending. And the USA oh. tried to take a quick shot as the goalkeeper is trying to recover to the line. The shot is missed and Uruguay uh, lose the ball up on the left flank. The so Uruguay defense is doing a good job just now to cover the goal when the keeper was out, out, of, out of position. But USA clearly pressuring Uruguay. Just over five minutes remaining in this match. USA up 3-1. Quedan cinco minutos en este partido. Esta es la segunda mitad. Los Estados Unidos tienen tres goles y Uruguay uno. Bad pass there, turning the ball over. Uruguay now will try to do a counter. Uruguay still in possession, trying to work her way in. Ball played right outside the circle. Let's see if they can make their way. Passing around. Lovely long ball. But US. Just a bit of a bobble there. So Uruguay doing well in this half. Even though they're down, I think they have quite a bit of possession. They're trying to, the counters to get, but unable to take advantage of any of those counter attacks yet. So we now have just about three minutes and 50 seconds left in the second half. And the score being 3-1 to USA. Of course, there's one more match on tonight's agenda. There's a very nice crowd tonight here at the Cliff Anderson Sports Hall in Georgetown, Guyana. Of course, tomorrow is a holiday, so a lot of people will be out to see the matches, and tomorrow will be a full day of games, and I'm sure we'll have a lot of good attendance. Great try there by Uruguay, but just going wide of the post once again. All right, so the USA now uh, restarting the game. Uh, just under three minutes to go in this match. They're leading three to one. Lovely deflection. Nice pass down the line. But Uruguay's keeper is right there. She anticipated the pass, was able to block it. A bit of a bobble there, and Uruguay is on the attack. Another turnover, and USA is on the attack. Lovely pass, and a, a valiant try. But again, U Uruguay keeper doing well to deny USA another goal. And we see here... So the USA player there given the green card. 
and we'll sit out of the just over two minutes remaining we'll sit out one of those two minutes uh, as Uruguay now have the advantage numerically uh, one player will be off for the Lovely USA work there. so the USA at this point will probably try to slow the, day, the game down as we see Uruguay pulling their keeper and putting on a kicker back which gives them numerical advantage so it'd be six field players now against five teams usually use this strategy especially when you're down so that you have that extra player to work with all right but it's not actually five because the usa still has one correct. player out so it will be six against four correct one and a half minutes remaining So USA in possession, driving down the line, but Uruguay doing very well in defense. And it's able to get out there quite easily. And we're down to the last minute of this exciting game between USA and Uruguay. Let's see if Uruguay can capitalize. She's quite blocked up in the right corner, but she's out. All right, so back to the kicker back. And Uruguay is now trying to pressure the USA. Uh, seconds remaining in this match now. Oh, and it's, and it's now a short corner for Uruguay. So do you think that uh, Uruguay will uh, continue to gamble with the kicker back? Yes. Uh, uh, yes, they are. Yes, Definitely. they are. So just about less than 20 seconds remaining this clock will probably run out yes yeah, so this will probably be the last play of the game as the USA put on their protective gear and uh, getting ready for the what should be the last play of the match so, so the so time the has run out <laughs> and uh, this will be it will be recalled by the umpire so the the um final play this is definitely going to be the final play yes. uh will Possibly. be <laughs> taken by uruguay and the, the time for this match is up oh and just wide of the right hand post so ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of that very exciting match between the USA and Uruguay um, with the score being 3-1 at the end of full time. So I hope you all enjoyed and again I just must remind you that we have one more match on tonight's agenda which would be a man's match between Argentina and Mexico. Of course please be sure to join us tomorrow for a full day of coverage once again starting at midday and I think as I said earlier I think that we will have a full stand tomorrow a nice big crowd because of course it's a holiday here in Guyana so everyone will come out to be treated to a lovely day of hockey all right so, thanks all right. for watching and Nicholas thank you for keeping my company You're during welcome. this match good all night right. good night